Okay, hi, Assalamualaikum. So, today we will do revision past time paper, code M80455. Okay, my name is Nora Tikanuddin. You can call me Miss Nora. So, today we focus on chapter 1. Alright, so basically, for chapter 1, the question will ask you about the sequence. Okay, this is the question from February 2021. Question number 1, determine whether the sequence converge or diverge. Okay, if you look at this, okay, you know that this is a sequence and what you need to do is you have to start with limit and approaching to infinity. Then you copy back the function 3 power of e n plus 1 over with 4 and square minus 4. Okay, then you check, is it in determinate form? Okay, since this is we have exponential here and polynomial so you have to insert the infinity so 3 power of 3 infinity plus 1 you can, can get here is infinity over infinity so this one is indeterminate form since this one is indeterminate form what you need to do is you have to apply the l orbital rule right so you write apply l orbital rule so L orbital rule basically is you have to differentiate. So let f x equals to you change the variable to x three e power of three x plus one over four x squared minus four, and then you have to put limit x approaching to infinity. Okay, and then e power of 3x plus 1 over 4x squared minus 4. And then you have to differentiate. Limit x approaching to infinity. Differentiate both numerator and denominator. e power of 3x plus 1 over differentiate the denominator 4x squared minus 4. Okay, so next, you differentiate. Don't, um, don't forget to put limit x approaching to infinity. If you don't put the limit, okay, it will be minus your marks. Okay, since the sequence need to put the limit as you have to substitute the value of x. Okay, so differentiate the numerator. You get 3e, 3x plus 1 over e x. Okay, then 4 is a constant. Then you check, is it the final answer? Okay, you substitute the infinity. So as you substitute the infinity, you will get infinity over infinity. So what you need to do is apply the L'Hopital rule. So limit x approaching to infinity, differentiate 3 e 3x plus 1 over differentiate the denominator e x. Okay, meaning that this one we apply the L'Hopital rule. Sorry. Okay, so apply the L'Hopital rule. So limit x approaching to infinity, you will get this one, 9 e 3x plus 1 over 8 and then you substitute then you substitute the value uh, x so you can get this one is infinity over 8 infinity over 8 the answer would be infinity so you can see that this is the limit does not exist Alright, the limit does not exist. Hence, we can conclude that the sequence is diverge. Okay, limit does not exist. Okay, hence, therefore, sequence diverge, or as you can write, um, diverge. Okay. Sequence diverge. Okay, 
That's the answer for question number one. So what you need to remember, you have to put the limit. Okay, along the way, you solve the question, not the first part only. Okay, right. So we continue example sequence from next past time. Okay, so this one is from July 2020. Okay, determine the sequence. You can see that the sequence we have drawn here. Okay, so the first step is limit and approaching to infinity ln n cube over 2n. Okay, as you write this one, you have to check the indeterminate form. Is it indeterminate form? So, uh, you substitute this one. You can substitute limit and approaching to infinity ln infinity power of 3 over 2 times infinity. So, you will get the answer is infinity over infinity. So, this one is indeterminate form. Okay. For indeterminate form, you have to do, what you can do is you can uh, use the L'Hopital rule since we have long function here. So, what you need to do, apply the L'Hopital rule. Okay, so limit uh, x approaching to infinity. Then you have to change the function to limit uh, to function x ln x cube over 2n. x cube over 2n. So we apply the L'Hopital rule. You have to differentiate d over dx here. So you differentiate, you will get x approaching to infinity uh, ln x cube you will get 1 over x cube and then don't forget to differentiate x cube you will get 3 x squared over this one is x you will get 2 okay so you simplify this answer x approaching to infinity so you this simplify this one you can cancel out 3 over x over 2. So limit x approaching to infinity, you will get uh, 3 over 2x. Sorry. 3 over 2x. Okay. So you substitute the value x approaching to infinity, you will get the answer is 3 over infinity so 3 over infinity you will get zero okay meaning that the limit exists okay limit exists then the sequence is converged all right okay that's the answer for july 2020 okay we proceed the next example for sequence so that you have master how to do the sequence question. Right, so this one, you can see this is the polynomial function. I think this, much, this one is much more easier. Okay, let's see how we solve. First, as you see the, lim the question as the sequence, first you convert. Limit, this one is variable k, k approaching to infinity k squared over 2k minus 1 and then what you need to do is try to substitute with the value infinity so you will get infinity over infinity so this one is in determinate form okay this is, is a polynomial function so what you can do you don't need to use the L'Hopital rule because you can divide by using the highest power so the highest power is k Okay, the highest power here is k. So, k squared divide k over 2k divide by k minus 1 divide by k. So, what we need, what we do here is we divide by the highest power. Divide by the highest power of denominator not numerator 
Okay, so you can cancel out this one. Okay. Alright, so you will get the me k approaching to infinity. This one you will get k over 2 minus 1 over k. And then you substitute the infinity. So you will get infinity minus 2. So we get infinity minus 2 over 1 over infinity. So this one you will get infinity 2 minus 0. Okay. And then the answer would be infinity divided by 2. You will get infinity. So I show you this one you will get 0. This one you get infinity. If you don't do this part then it's okay. You can um, chong up. Okay. You can chong up. So this is the limit does not exist. When the limit does not exist, you can conclude that the sequence is diverged. Okay, so this is an example of polynomial where we do not use the L'Hopital rule, we use the uh, divide by the highest of denominator. Right, so you proceed. One more question for sequence okay determine whether the sequence okay now you can see that we have ln here okay as you can see when you have ln or exponential normally we use the L'Hopital rule for polynomial we use divide by the highest power okay sequence you have to do limit k approaching to infinity right so ln k squared minus 5. Okay, you just copy back the function. No need to do anything. Just put ln. Okay, and then you have to check this one. As you can see, you will get infinity over infinity. Where this one is in determinate form. What you need to do is you apply the L'Hopital rule. Okay, so apply the L'Hopital rule. Limit x approaching to infinity okay, when you apply the L'Hopital rule you have to change the variable to x okay ln x squared minus 5 over 3x plus 4 so since this one the L'Hopital rule you have to differentiate okay you have to differentiate this function Right, so limit x approaching to infinity. Differentiate ln this one, you get 1 over. Okay, panjang sikit. You will get 1 over x squared minus 5. Don't forget to differentiate. This one, you will get 2x divided by 3. Okay, so a bit confusing. I write it back, divide by 3. So continue, limit x approaching to infinity, you get 2x over x squared minus 5 over with, this one is times right, so you are going to put like this. Okay, then you have to check the final answer. As you substitute with the infinity, you will get infinity over infinity. So, you have to apply the L'Hopital rule. Okay, apply one more time the L'Hopital rule. Okay, so limit x approaching to infinity, differentiate to x over, differentiate respect to x, this one is 3x squared minus 15. So you get limit x approaching to infinity. You get 2 over 6x. And then you substitute the value. You will get 2 over infinity. So the answer would be 0. Meaning that this one is the limit exists. Therefore, the sequence is converged. Okay, you write the 
full sentence okay so if you write like this you will get marks also okay so this one is the for sequence question very simple okay what you need to do don't forget to put the limit until you finish substitute the value if not your mark will be deducted okay so we continue after the sequence question we have test for convergence so now it's involved the series question so this one is from february 2022 use an appropriate test test to determine whether the following series converge or diverge okay so test for convergence so you can see that we have combination series okay if you have the combination series what you need to do you have to separate okay so you separate this one series by pi over 3k minus 2 plus series of 2k over 7k squared so don't forget to put the detail uh, as a series start from k equals 1 until infinity Alright, and then you need to see which test is suitable or appropriate for this series. So for this series, we can see that this one, again, okay, pi pi in, okay, pi pi series of k equals 1 until infinity, 1 over 3k minus 2. So 3k minus 2, we can see that this one, the value for r equals 2. So you have to separate this one. You have to separate this one. So I write it here. 5 pi series. You have to separate this one. 1 over 3k times 3 negative 2 okay so 3 negative 2 so you will get 3 negative 2 is 9 right so 9 times 5 you will get 45 pi and series 1 over 3k okay don't forget to put the series until infinity okay so now you can see that this one we can use the geometric series so value for r equals to 1 over 3 which is less than 1 okay by using the geometric series by geometric series and then um, it is converge okay by geometric series and it is converge okay now we do the second part okay the combination of the second part so this one you can simplify 2 over 7 series of this one you can simplify k the 9 k so you will get uh, 1 over k so 1 over k this one is divergent this one will is harmonic series very simple it's not p series because we don't have the power of k here so this one is harmonic series okay harmonic series you have to write what kind of test do you use okay if you don't write the test then you will mark your mark will be deducted so the first one we use geometric series the second one we use the harmonic series and then you have to um, write whether the series is converged or diverge for harmonic series is diverge so for this one converge plus diverge so you can conclude that the four the series okay the series you copy back the series plus 2k over 7k squared is diverge okay the series is diverge okay 
This is the combination series. You have to solve one by one the combination, the first one and the second one. Don't forget to write what test do you use because it has mark. Okay, continue. Right, so this one is question from July 2022. Okay, determine the convergence of series. This one also a combination. What you need to do is you have to separate the series. You have to show your series separation 3 over 5 k minus 2 plus series 1 over power of 5 k squared. So the series you have to write it in detail. Okay, next what you need to do you separate and then you solve the first one. Okay, so the first one, the first one we can simplify. Okay, this one 2, 3 over 5, the power k and 3 over 5, negative 2. Okay, so this one you can solve. Okay, you can solve, you will get here is Two, three over five, negative two, series k equals to one, infinity, three over five k. Okay. So this one, we can use the geometric series as r equals to three over five. Okay, we use the geometric series. as value r equals to 3 over 5 which is less than 1 so the series is converged okay so the second one okay the second one this series this one you can open the square root series 1 over k squared over 5 okay k squared over 5 and then this one we can use the p series p series as the value p equals to 2 over 5 which is less than 1 okay therefore the series is diverge right since the series is diverge we can conclude that the combinations of this series is diverge. Okay, so you can conclude that therefore this series, you copy back the series, right? The copy back here is diverge. All right, so converge, converge, you will get converge. By converge, diverge, you will get diverge. Okay, we continue the next one series. Okay, this one uh, series very simple. Okay, we have exponent negative 2n. So, what kind of test you want to do? Okay, so what we need to do, we can write n equals to 1 infinity. We can rewrite this one as 1 over e power of 2n. E power of 2n we can write this one we simplify right e 1 over e power of 2 n e power of 2 n and then we can rewrite this one 1 over e squared power of n so this one we can use the geometric series geometric series where r equals to 1 over e squared so you need to get the value it's about 0 0.135 which is less than 1 then the series is converged we can conclude that, hence, the series is 
conversion. Okay, besides that, you can try another test if it's suitable. So for this one, I use the geometric series. You can use the ratio test. Okay, you can use the ratio test. You can try by your own. So will you answer will get converged. Okay, one more question. We have this one, series, right? So the first thing first, what you need to do, you have to use the appropriate method. As we can see, we can use the comparison method. Okay, we use the comparison method. Okay, for comparison method, we choose to use the comparison method. We need Vn. So Vn equals to series n over n power of 4. Okay, in case you are wondering how we get n power n4, we expand this one. We expand this one, you get n, this can power of 2. So you get n power of 4 plus 2 n squared plus 1. So we get the highest denominator. Okay, for Vn. This one is n equals to 1 until infinity. So you get this one for Bn, right? So you can simplify, you will get 1 over n cube. Okay, for 1 over n cube, and this one you can use the P series. So P series as the value for P equals to 3, which is more than 1, this is converged. Okay, so for comparison, you need to compare thus B and more than or equals to A and. Okay, what we need to do, we can use this one B and minus with B and minus with A and. Is it more than or equals to zero? Okay, so B and is this one n over n power of 4 minus A and. This one is A and. Or else you can use this one. Again, okay. I use the normal one, the original one, and squared minus plus one squared. Okay, and then you have to solve this one. Okay, you will get n times n n squared plus one squared minus n times n n power of four over with n power of four n squared plus 1 squared. So you need to expand this one. You will get um, n power of 5 plus 2 n cubed plus n minus n 5 over with this one n power of 4 n squared plus 1 squared. So this one you can simplify. You will get 2 n cubed plus n over n power of 4 n squared plus 1 squared. Okay, so you substitute the value. Is it more than 0? So this one is more than or equals to 0. Hence, we can conclude that b n minus a n or b n is more than or equals to a n. Okay, therefore, the series is converged, right? The series is converged. Okay, for this kind of question, you have to do an appropriate test. So, you have to make sure that you are master the Test. Okay, we have several tests. We have the comparison, we have the geometric, P-series, harmonic, and so on. So now, uh, I think that's all for the first part. We have been discussed the sequence questions and the series question. So next, we will continue.